everyone. This is Lynn Wilson at Lynn Wilson Originals. Today, what we're going to do is paint some fabric. The painting on these white pieces like this and the fabric is got sort of a, t uh, a tighter weave. It's a smoother fabric. I found was a little bit easier than painting on jeans. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your fabric's pretty wet. I found with the jeans, the fabric had to be wetter than it did with the apron. And I think that might be because the fabric is thicker. So what I did was I just laid out some colors to play with here. Um, this is Plum Crazy, Peony, Blueberry, um, I think that's Bunker Hill Blue, Mason Dixon Gray, Peacock, Kudzu, Farmhouse Green, Lemonade, I think that's Lemonade, and Colonel Mustard on this one. And I've got Barn Red, Tea Rose on this one, Black, Caviar, and White, Cotton. So the first thing I'm going to do, you could you can lay out in, if you were doing this on your own jeans, you could start out with a dark marker to, you know, lay out your pattern. I'm just going to wing it here. And I'm going to start out with bachelor buttons. I just think that's a cute name and they're easy to paint. So I'm going to mix a couple of colors together. So I have a variety of blue shades and purples. And then when I do bachelor buttons, I just kind of make like a little beard across the bottom, for lack of a better word. And then just start filling in. This brush is actually a little bit too wet. That's um, one of the differences I found in painting on the white finer fabric versus this fabric is I don't want my brush to be quite as wet because you want the paint to show up on the blue and it takes more to do that, more pigment. And the other thing I just try to do is vary my my colors a little bit, you know, so I don't have one solid color. So here I've, I'm mixing up my blues and my grays. And once it dries, you can go back and add more highlights. Like I said here, I kind of had this sitting in a drawer and just today I went back and added this darker pink. So I'm going to add in a few little stems and for the stems, I like to use a real skinny brush. And what I'm doing to create these leaves, I'm just kind of rolling my brush a little bit and trying to hold it really loosely. Now, the other thing I think I'm going to add in here is like a coneflower or echinacea. And for that, it has kind of a dark center, which we're probably not going to see too well on, on the denim. But what I can do is after it dries, I can go back and add some definition to this little guy. And so this is where these paints are like watercolor. If you can see how these colors are kind of blending. And 
adds a lot because of the water in the fabric. So another um, fun flower to paint are, I don't know if it's a rose or a peony, but um, I'm going to start out by making like a, a number six here. And that's like going to be the center of my flower. And I need a smaller brush. And then I'm going to just go around behind that and paint like little C's, so to speak. So like that's kind of a C. So there's the center of my flower. And as I move out, I'm going to keep just doing those C's, but I'm going to get closer. Like I'm not going to have as much white space or blue space in this case. So there's my kind of approximation of a rose. And what I'm going to do is try to dry it a little bit. I don't know if it's a rose or a peony. I'm going to try to dry it. So, because I don't necessarily want all of it to blend. I might put a little pink in the middle here. One of the things that I have found in painting these, um, just kind of what I've learned along the way, is that contrast seems to make them look prettier. So a dark with a light. And, and to go back and add in those tones, sometimes it helps to have the paint a little bit drier. Let's see, let's try a little white in here. Or maybe take some of the pink here. It's, where's my red? Some of the red and mix it with my white. That's the color I needed. I like using kind of stiffer brushes on this, not um, watercolor brushes because they don't they don't stand up against the fabric enough. And I'm gonna just kind of drop my dr brush down for petals. sanding sponge and lightly sand it to kind of knock off that stiffness. So you want to make sure you get like all of that powder off and then you can spray it with the easy peasy spray wax and you want to make sure you shake it up. Can you hear how the noise went away? That's how you know it's completely shaken. And then you'll just mist it on and it kind of brings back your color again. You want to let this, you know, sit for about 30 days. That's how long it takes for the paint to cure. And then you can wash it, but wash it on 
delicate and you know don't go throwing it in the dryer or anything um, if you have any questions at all please feel free to put them in the comments and I will I would love to try to help and uh, you know it's not rocket science just have some fun with it. Again, my name is Lynn Wilson. I'm with Lynn Wilson Originals. And if you could um, check out my page, maybe give me a follow, I would love that. So I hope you guys have a great afternoon or evening, whatever time it is for you. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch. Have a great day. Bye-bye.